test dummy science, we're testing the science of cold and how our bodies react to it. Specifically, Teddy's body. Hey, guys! Here, Teddy. Have a popsicle. Whoa, thanks. Because today, we're turning Teddy into a human popsicle. What? Let's do this! When our bodies feel cold, they go into instant protection mode to warm things up. You can see that happening when I rub this piece of ice on my arm. When the temperature drops, goosebumps rise up on our skin. In animals like monkeys and horses, these bumps make the hairs on their bodies stand up, creating a furry layer that warms them. This also worked for our ancient ancestors, who had a lot more body hair than we do. Our body's next warming technique is to shiver. Shivering is your muscles tightening and relaxing really fast, which warms you up. When it gets really cold out, warm blood starts leaving your fingers and toes and travels to your heart, lungs, and other internal organs to warm up your core. But all that blood rushing to your core creates another problem. It makes you have to pee, which, after dealing with those ice cubes, I have to do right now. But be careful, because if you don't bundle up when it's freezing cold out, you're nowhere near a bathroom and you have to pee outside, you could get a nasty case of frostbite. Thanks. <sighs> to test the effects of the cold on the human body, we're putting Teddy through three icy cold experiments today. We'll see how Teddy's body reacts to room temperature water, snow water, and then ice water. Bring it on, kiddos, because I grew up in the North Pole and I am ready for anything. You're not planning on wearing that, are you? Uh, yeah. Like, it's about protecting ourselves from the cold, so I winterize. <laughs> no, Teddy. Today, we're talking about how your body protects itself from the cold. Yeah, and this is your uniform. <laughs> Ooh, that makes me cold just thinking about it. Ready, Teddy? Oh, man. In our first experiment, Teddy will feel the effects of room temperature water on his very exposed skin. We have two buckets of water straight from the tap. According to our thermometer, they measure 59 degrees Fahrenheit or 15 degrees Celsius. Let's do this. <laughs> Wait, that's not cold water already? That was pretty cold. When water hits you or you get splashed with room temperature water, it feels even colder than the air around you. That's because the water steals heat from your body as soon as it touches you, which is much faster than the air. For our next phase of the experiment, we are relying on Teddy to tell us how much colder he feels. This time, we've added snow into the water to make it even colder. Hey, guys, are my teeth supposed to be chattering like this? Question, Teddy. Actually, yes. It's an involuntary reaction by your body to help warm you up. With the snow added, the water dips down to 36 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 2 degrees Celsius. Straight up, Eddie, can we talk about this for a second? Uh, I'm not sure that the world wants to see. I'm going to cut you off, Teddy, because everyone wants to see this. Ready? <laughs> Let's do it. It's up. Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! 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 <laughs> for our final experiment, we filled these buckets half full with water and half full with ice. Bringing this water all the way down to freezing, according to my thermometer here, this water is sitting at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, which is zero degrees Celsius. Can we just get this over with? You got it, Teddy. <laughs> On three. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> Wait, what? Ah! Prolonged exposure to water this cold can result in frostbite, hypothermia, and even death. It's brisk. Luckily, this is a safe and controlled environment for Teddy. So, Teddy, how do you feel? I don't know. I'm tough. I'll probably take another 10, 15 buckets of ice cold water. That's great to hear, Teddy. Wait, no. What? <laughs> you guys! Our bodies really are amazing, especially yours, Teddy. Am I supposed to not be able to feel my toes? You worry too much, Teddy. Besides, we can warm you up. You can? Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, it's nothing my homemade, trusty flamethrower can't fix. Help! <laughs> 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 